So at Vance Steel 2017, I'm um, going to test out a theory for NC numbering. Um, so this model is just simple model pitch port frame. Uh, this um, element here is uh, this angle is welded to this cross beam as a test to show for marking, etc. So this is etching, powder marking, scribing, however you determine it. So within the NC system, there are some settings here so we're based on assembly numbers at the moment um, these values that are in here are actually being driven from the management tools if you change them in here this actually overrides the management tool setting for this particular project stroke file so once you make a change in here uh, it will not read from the management tool system again so at the moment um, just to also explain where those elements are coming from so inside the management tool system you obviously have a default profile that is configured uh, you can obviously create your own so you can create a new profile so you can uh, rename an existing profile or copy a profile so if i copy this existing one and I'll call it, you know, NC, um, NC test one. Okay, so I don't want to alter my existing one. So it's going to create that. I'm just going to set that to be the current profile. So we now see it changes over here. Within this here, there is uh, obviously various settings in here to do with the naming of the file. So this is the NC file name here. This is the hard stamp that appears on the actual part itself. And also here, this is to do with the file header structure here. So this is the uh, project number. This is the to do with the drawing number here. This is the uh, file header phase name as well. So also the piece mark, text info, all these kind of things are all part of the NC structure. And this is the NC file header piece number. So at the moment it's using POS uh, NC position number. Okay. So if you were to actually uh, look, there is an FAQ on the website for uh, Autodesk. So if I just go in here, advanced steel, uh, scribe marking, something like that, just type something in, it should come up and show you this thing here. And it will actually say, obviously, scribing is based upon main parts, uh, which it is, okay? So it's based upon the main parts or assemblies. And that obviously influences what you get in the file in the form of the header etc and the, the powder marking is triggered by that or scribing as some people call it but if you scroll down through this faq uh, you'll see that there's a, a load of different tokens listed in here okay um, some of those tokens are to do with the single part position number the single part drawing number etc now that does that one here percent nc pos underscore number does to play the nc part mark this will this one is the position number will display a part mark also so i think you would possibly be able to change one of these so to single part position number so you can either change it in the management tools if you want to make a global setting so under here that would be you would change that one in there okay for this one in here now in order to do that so you could obviously copy it from here come into here make that change in there just paste it in there okay so you probably just need to clean it out a little bit as well so I obviously copied a couple of extra bits in there that I shouldn't have done but um, so just clean that out and it says obviously you can't have that in it so all right so you, you copy that in and that becomes a single part position number now that probably won't filter through into the model uh currently because we've already started the project so we can go back and just have a look and see whether it did actually come through into that check under the nc settings okay so it did actually uh come through 
because I reloaded the default so that was uh, updated the defaults in the system so this says piece identification single part number if you actually just click on this list at the end here you'll see that the uh, these are the same attributes that you can add in okay so there will be one in here for part number single okay so uh, I think you could uh, obviously you could change the join number reference as well the the numbering reference all these kind of things can be changed even the file name in there so at the moment it says it's obviously based upon the NP and C plus number okay so I mean you could uh, could change that one as well so the thing is if you do make a change in here as I said before it then becomes project specific if you do it in the in the management tool system it then it then transfers into that model each time and it so you're making a global change then so you're setting this up how you want it to be okay so I mean we could uh, try something different here with the, the the NC file name we could possibly put the the same token in there so I'm just going to paste the same token in there and if you want .nc on the end or nc1 you can obviously type that in there as well so let's just see what happens so again i'm just going to make that change and then load the settings back into advance um and just cancel that a minute so the the same button here actually is update defaults it does the same command actually it uh, reopens the database so let's just go back in and check there so it's seen it's changed that as well so and it's still based on assembly so uh, the way the parts are numbered in the model um, so here under the naming we see we have a single part reference and a, a main part reference in here and um, I just used a none numbering post numbering method I didn't swap anything out so uh, just a very basic numbering so if I press the uh, the NC button it should produce some details as the files have been successfully created so go into the document manager update detail so we can see that uh, straight away all even though we're basing it on assembly all the part numbering is based upon the or the file naming is based upon the single part And similarly that's coming across into the top of the field here okay so depending on which one it is so um, so I would imagine it's this one and there's the powder mark reference there so that will come across into the files and obviously uh, you can obviously open those files if you if you so wish and look at them in a, in a text editor if you need to um, I'll be honest I'm just going to press the DXF all objects and I'll see what that does as well so um, go back into the document manager DXF all objects uh, probably pick one of these preview I'll just try and make that a little bit bigger so um, so in there we can obviously see the um, so that's the uh, powder marking and, and again depending on what settings you have in the management tool you can set the powder mark it does it completely uh, or on on the corners of it as well there's a load of other settings inside the the NC data in here as well so that's a little insight into things that you can do and you can change uh, if you want the global change i would do it inside the management tools i would create a profile that i needed because you might need different settings for different nc file outputs to different suppliers for profiling manufacturing etc different companies do it different ways so you could then just toggle your uh, profile it should reload it in the system it'll load it into the project that you need if you want to do it project specific just to remind you again it comes back here you come back to the NC settings if you change it under here using one of these then it becomes specific to this project only and will never ever look at the NC settings again 
So hope that helps out. Cheers.